What's up, YouTube? This Sunday is gonna be WWE Hell in a Cell. I forgot this pay per view was even happening until last night. They talked about it on SmackDown. I was like, oh yeah, there's a pay per view. But these are my WWE Hell in a Cell predictions. So if I don't get the majority of my predictions correct, which is this number, in the comments down below, I want you guys to put your most hellacious punishment that I would have to do. But for the Raw Tag Team Championship, it's gonna be Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre taking on Rollins and Ambrose. Wasn't the Intercontinental title like really highlighted well this year so far? And then it just. It's nothing again. Rollins with his IC title is almost like Ambrose with the US title. It's just not being defended. It's not talked about. It's pretty much just an accessory piece. And now, this is why I think we should have another guy that should be Intercontinental Champion. His name is Bobby Lashley because he has Leo Rush. And I want Leo to walk around the IC title in his hands and act like his manager. But back to the point, I don't think Rollins and Ambrose are gonna win these titles. Ambrose is already back to being kind of goofy again. He's no longer you know, that really serious, tough guy. Looks like he just came from San Quentin. I like seeing Dolphin McIntyre actually holding the tag team titles. I think it's really cool. McIntyre definitely deserves all the pushes that he will get from here to the future. And the future better be the universal title that he wins. But for this match, Dolphin Drew are definitely gonna keep the titles. So yeah, Dolphin Drew win. For the SmackDown Live tag team titles though, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be the new day versus Rusev Day. Ah, oh, it's so many days. It's so many days. It's, it's, it's coming to me say crazy. <laughs> I love it. Who I think is actually going to win? I knew they just started their tag team title reign. I mean, they just started not even a full month ago. And then yeah, Rusev, they really can't lose this match. I mean, they need, they need this. Would anyone really care if knew they lost the titles? I mean, I wouldn't be that destroyed. I don't think a lot of people would really care if they lost it. But everyone would care if Rusev and Aiden English won it. So I'm going to say Rusev Day wins only because it's Rusev Day. You know, I had a better punchline in my head. I just couldn't think of what I was going to say. So, that's my reasoning. Rusev's awesome. He's amazing. So is Aiden. They're great. Aiden can wrestle. He can sing. They better. They, they need to. Please. Vince. Not Vince. I'm serious. Look. Look. Hey. Please. 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 If not, give it to like Bobby and Leo. And they're on Raw. But it doesn't matter. Let them win some tag team titles also. But Rusev Day. Please. For the Raw Women's Championship, it's going to be Ronda Rousey versus Alexa Bliss once again. Who is going to win? Ronda will kill her and she will win and retain. That's it. What else do you want me to say? Inside the Hell in a Cell structure is going to be Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton. Now this feud, on top of honestly, the big three SmackDown Live feuds could all be inside the Hell in a Cell. To be honest, they're all amazing. They're all built on so much aggression and anger and triumph and background story. They're all really good. Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton, they've had some really serious beef going back and forth with Randy Orton trying to rip out Jeff's ear. What kind of sadistic is that? Heel Randy Orton is the Randy Orton I fell in love with in 2009. That guy is so awesome. I love it so much. Jeff Hardy's never had a Hell in a Cell match and that's a match he definitely wanted to have. He wanted to have it at WrestleMania, but whatever, this is good enough. This match is going to be very hard to watch because we all know that Jeff Hardy is getting older and he still likes to do a bunch of crazy stuff that makes it look like he's going to hurt himself a lot. So this is going to be difficult to watch, but <laughs> I'm definitely going to enjoy it. I say Randy Orton actually takes the win here. This feud could definitely last the Survivor Series. Maybe they have their own Survivor Series teams, or maybe they're a part of someone else's Survivor Series teams. <clears throat> Randy Orton wins. In a mixed tag team match, honestly, this feud could also be inside Hell in a Cell, but Dan Bryan is way too like messed up to really be thrown inside of itself. But it would make the most sense, honestly, I have all the feuds on SmackDown. But Dan Bryan and Brie Bella are taking on The Miz and Maurice. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about this match is the lack of wrestling and ring rust from Brie and Maurice. Because if you watch some of their matches on Raw, or at least Brie's matches on Raw with Nikki Bella, yeah, they got hella ring rust. God. Holy shit, what the f Whenever they do get in the ring, I don't want to see them wrestle too much, honestly. I just want to see them just do some basic stuff, and then they just let Miz and Dan Bryan take over most of the match. It's not that Bree and Maurice are bad or anything, it's just they have a lot of ring rust, because they haven't been in the ring a lot. It's just how it is sometimes. But I'm going to give it to, um, actually, let's, let's give it to Maurice and Miz. <laughs> Why not? Maybe at Survivor Series, it'll be like Team Dan Bryan versus Team Miz, and then like Gordon can be on Team Miz, and like Hardy can be on Team Dan Bryan. Dan Bryan, the guy, is still an underdog. He needs to lose a lot. That way, when he gets that really big win, it feels really monumentous, and everyone cheers, everyone smiles, and we're all just happy. For the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, it's gonna be Charlotte versus Becky Lynch. Becky better kill her. I mean, not actually, you know, wrestling kill, which means beat up, take to a local medical facility, return in two weeks. Becky is so far on a roll right now, if she loses, it's going to kill everything, and there's just nothing left for her to do. This is literally her last shot of staying in the top echelon of the- Hey, we're promoting Hell in a Cell. We're talking about predictions. So we have my roommate. He doesn't want to show his face on YouTube. Uh, do you I want to? Like All right, cool. Okay. All right, you want to grab a chair? About to restart. You want to say your name or do you want to make up All a name? Right. Okay, so we're actually going to restart this whole entire video. This is my roommate, Rob. I don't know if you guys have ever seen him before because you haven't because he didn't show his face on YouTube till now. Yeah. All right, you're kind of taking up a lot of space. Hell in a Cell is this Sunday. I don't know if you knew about that, but for Raw Tag Team Titles, it's going to be Drew and Dolph versus Rollins and Ambrose. Who's going to win? I'll go with uh, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose because the shield brother i mean yeah all right god 
I like these videos when by myself also, right? Uh, New Day versus Russo Day New SmackDown. Day. Black. Um, Ronda Rousey versus Alexa Bliss. Ronda Rousey. Let me finish. Uh, okay, go ahead, finish. Move your arm. What are you doing? Uh, you don't deserve this. It's my belt, thank you. This is his favorite wrestler, Jeff Hardy versus Jeff Randy Orton. Hardy. Can you let me finish? Sorry. You don't even know the match. Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton inside the Hell in a Cell. Inside the Hell in a yeah, Cell? Yeah, yeah. Jeff, Jeff Hardy, who's 40 years old, is going to get tossed around and broken in half. That's why Randy Orton's going to win. Dan Bryan and let me finish. Dan Bryan and Bree versus Miz and Maurice. Who's Daniel Bryan. And Bree. And Bree. Uh, okay, this is what I was generally just talking about at the moment for. You know, you kind of interrupt me yeah. with all your freaking food over there. Charlotte Flair versus Becky Lynch, SmackDown Live Women's Championship. Who's gonna Charlotte win? Charlotte Flair. No, she's not. Becky's a heel now. I don't know if you knew this. I didn't know that. And she likes to beat the crap out of people. And she calls Charlotte a For the WWE Championship, we have AJ Styles defending the title against Samoa Joe. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. Final match. Final match. This, this is really good. The Universal Champion Roman Reigns. How do you, do you like Roman Reigns? Yes. Do you actually? No. All right, cool. Versus Braun Strowman. Who is the monster in the bank holder? Money in the bank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a big yeah, guy. Yeah. Monster. Yeah. For the Universal Championship inside the Hell in a Cell. With a special guest. Guest yeah, yes, referee. Yeah. Stripes. Mick Foley. He just announced it on Monday because, you know, uh, Hell in a Cell is his thing. Because he fell through it and almost died. Yes. Yeah. I guess I'll go with Roman. I don't like Roman. I mean, I do like Roman to a degree. Not that much, though. But I think Roman's going to win because uh, the Shield is now back. They're a unit again because they need to make sure Roman Reigns stays over. G unit. Video's gonna get so many dislikes. Roman's gonna win. Roman's gonna win. Roman's gonna win because the shield is back and they wanna get them over and sell a bunch of crappy t-shirts. Cause Mr. Man likes Roman. Cause he's Samoan and related to the rock. So you just disagreed with every prediction that I had. Because your predictions are stupid. We'll see. That's pretty much the video, guys. Hope you really enjoyed. Uh final things. Uh so I saw this video the other day by this undisputed brotherhood guy. You know that TJ dude? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, the honest be the brotherhood guy. He said, uh, F Muscle Man Malcolm. Subscribe for more. Follow all my social medias down in the description below. F Muscle Man Malcolm, and I'll see you guys in the next. I don't understand. I jealous. thought TJ. Yeah, yeah, I thought he is jealous, bro. Because I have way more subscribers than him, like 2,000 more. Because I don't need to show little toys to make a video to make it entertaining. I have this thing called personality. I have this thing called good looks. No, it's not that kind of channel. But, uh, you yeah, threw me off my point. TJ, I don't know what's up with you and Indigo right now. I know y'all dating, so I don't know if y'all just talk about me a lot because you yeah, have nothing else better to talk about because you guys aren't that interesting of people. Keep my name out your mouth, all right? Just keep my name out your mouth. <laughs> it will all be good. I think they, uh, they come with these say crazy. They crazy. Insane. Insane. It's wild. <laughs> Some squeak. We're outy. I never said we're outy before. Can you get, your stomach out the camera. I'm outy. Goodbye. I need a new Bugatti for the few who got me Killing beats is a ruthless hobby You say your shooters copy, never do a sloppy Drum a kit like they do karate I be the first, never lie to rap I am a great, no denying that